As this place testifies in this dire change, hateful to utter, but what power of mind. Welcome to the second installment of the TMG investigation team, otherwise known as TIT. Today we've got a series of stories that have plagued our minds, and let me tell you, they're nothing like the cat's pajamas. They're challenging moments in human existence, and let me tell you, you better know your onions. Because there will be no canceled stamps in this series of stories, folks. This will be titillating. Nice. Vengeful. Dangerous. And most importantly, sexy. Now, Noel, what is what is the frequency of these investigations? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. We'll be 24-7 live streaming every single day. <laughs> no. No, we're not. <laughs> oh. I didn't. Are we doing that? No one talked to me about that. No. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> this will be a reality show that extends perpetually. This will be our life's project, our odyssey. No one told me about something. This shit. We will film every day, every waking minute till we die. I don't want to do that. We're we're gonna do this once a month. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll okay. Cool. Month. Here's what we'll be covering today. Story number one, the Oakville Blobs. In 1994, blobs rained from the sky in Oakville, Washington, making people ill. When studied, they found bacteria and human DNA, and then the samples disappeared. Next story, the feet fondler of Lake Tahoe. Need we say more? <laughs> yes. After that, we'll be covering the Virginia UFO incident. The Virginia UFO incident involves a series of events in 1996 when residents of Virginia, Brazil claimed seeing one or more strange creatures and at least one UFO. <gasps> we'll be diving into that after this. Muff diving. Sorry. Go ahead. What's a muff? Hmm? Not What's muff? Uh, it's a muffin. I see. After we've covered the UFO of Virginia, we'll be diving into a more recent story in the future. <laughs> a story that recently occurred in the future. The oh, you sound like Trump, dude. <laughs> we'll be diving into <laughs> a recent it's story a from the story. future. The best story. Uh, you know, there was a mermaid in <laughs> Australia. I didn't see her. That's what the folks are saying down there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, sorry to interrupt you. What were you saying about the skeleton of mermaid? The skeleton of mermaid. That's it. And then stolen urinal grates. Someone in Japan has stolen 16 urinal grates and the police have opened an investigation. And lastly, another Bigfoot sighting with video. You're not going to want to miss that. And then in the bonus, we'll be getting into some sultry, disgusting stories. Namely, the Somerset Gimp. A man is accused of terrorizing villagers in the UK wearing a, quote, shiny gimp suit and grabbing his crotch. Keep in mind, we do take fan submissions for the show. So if you have a case you want us to cover, please send it to us. <laughs> I don't know how. Is the dude jerking off on a piece of paper? Like, yeah, cover this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want you guys to cover this. Yeah. How does this look to you? Hmm. It appears a man in 2023 has sent us a video of himself jerking off. Are these Rorschach images? <laughs> the nope. Just... He just came on a piece of paper. Rorschach tribute. <laughs> <laughs> he came on the paper and then folded it into into two and opened it back up. And now I see depictions <laughs> of my mother. <laughs> <laughs> this is episode two of the TMG investigation team. What's up, guys? This is the TMG podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. Has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the army. Uh, 
dude case number one let's let's get into this now this is the case of the oakville blobs yeah what were the oakville blobs and what caused them well in 1994 let me just give you let me just give you yeah, a little please, rundown please, again please please blobs rained down from the sky in oakville washington making people ill mm. when they studied them they found that there was bacteria in them and little bits of human dna but then when they decided to do more studies on them, the samples all of a sudden were gone. They disappeared. Now, there are a couple of theories out yeah. there. Some people say jellyfish. Right. Which is possible. Is it? How? I'm trying to think, you know, maybe jellyfish being transported as some kind of delicacy. And then a cargo plane. Oops. But... <laughs> I think the theory was that jellyfish were like evaporating and floating up into the sky. Oh, no, come on. Now. And then, see, that to me is more, that's more reasonable than someone transporting jellyfish as a delicacy. Now, I'm picturing some rich guy in like a little jumper plane who's like, who's like, yo, watch this. <laughs> yeah, like deadly jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> check this out. Yeah, check this shit out. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. psycho. No, um... Other people are saying airplane toilet waste, which you got to have some uh, gelatinous and fucking aerospace level oh. shit. Yeah, you got to have a solid turd. Yeah. For it to like withstand yeah. a centrifugal force. And then a chemically, a chemically <laughs> indestructible turd. Dude, that's- <laughs> What's the, you know? Yeah. Critical mat, critical- uh, Oh, terminal velocity? Terminal velocity. Yeah. That's what it reaches, right? Yeah. Like if a turd were to drop out of a plane, it'd be going Myth quite busters. fast. What's the terminal velocity on a <laughs> fucking do that? hard turd? Yeah. <laughs> Should we do that? Here's the thing, though. When you flush on an air... Oh, what, what? Just cut to us. Yeah. Side of an open plane, just squatting down. <laughs> turd just getting ripped out of our ass. <laughs> we go with some skydiving team. They're like, you ready to jump? No, I actually just need to take a shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just out there with a GoPro. <laughs> just hanging on to the to the top yeah. and leaning your ass out the back. No parachute on or anything. Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't touch me. I'm fine. Oh. Can you give me some privacy? <laughs> Damn it, dude. I just thought about when Steve-O jacked off. <laughs> That's a good place to stop that. Yeah. <laughs> It's I'll like part of his show. Jacking off. Yeah, no, he's like tried to come while skydiving. <laughs> and he was in the plane for like awesome. 45 minutes and he just couldn't get, because there's just, there's just people in front of him. Oh, uh, okay. Like he's he like looking to like at, get himself like almost there. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. And he just couldn't. He was like looking That's at porn. That's so fucking funny though. Yeah. Trying to come while skydiving. Yeah. That's why I want to take Molly and jet ski. So you can die? No. Horny? No, it just would be like the peak dopamine yeah. hit you could ever have. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, and I think coming and skydiving is like a tie. Okay. Molly on a jet ski, I'm just picturing you like, oh, and then just face planning yeah, into yeah. the ocean, and then we never see you again. <laughs> I That's, feel so good, like yeah. just directly into a <laughs> fucking like landmass. Yeah. That's the Oakville blob. I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Oakville Blob is just Cody's remains after taking Molly and riding a jet ski. <laughs> Are these jellyfish? It's like my dick. Like, yeah. <laughs> floating in the water. Yeah. <clears throat> this is a small jellyfish. Well, where is Oakville, Washington? Can we get a... It's in Washington. No, I mean... Oh, in the United States. Like, no, like relative to like major cities. It's uh, right by uh, D.C., Scroll. Oh wait, is this in the other Washington? Yeah, this is in the real Washington. <laughs> and he and everyone's saying I'm stupid. <laughs> Who's saying that? <laughs> the people. <laughs> South w w west, right by Seattle. 
southwest of Tacoma. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to think. People saying airplane waste. Even if waste could make it that far, I don't think that's a... I feel like I feel like that's a good theory. But like blob? If, the planes don't... Well, okay. They don't collect all the doo-doo and then they're like, how see do you ya. Know? How do you know? Where, where does it go? Man, when you flush... It, it just eject that sure, shit? I'm pretty no, sure you don't. Can we look that up? They collect it. I'm pretty and then sure. they dispose of it like where they're supposed to. No. Oh, no. They let that go in the air. You didn't know that? <laughs> really? Yeah. So at all times, there's like turds flying through the air. Yeah. Oh, damn it. That's a myth. I fell for it. <laughs> pilots Airlines no. are not allowed to dump their waste tanks mid-flight, and pilots have no Leaks mechanism by which sometimes to do, do occur from the plane's septic tank. See, this is... Oh, so there's no button. See, this is what I was thinking. It's like, if they did have a button to dispose of it where they're supposed to, mm. and then like one of the pilots is like leaning over to get something... Oh, you yeah. know, and he like hits the button by accident, and there's like it's like been it's oh, been oh. like building up for like months, like they yeah. haven't dumped it in months. Yeah, it's like did you hit the? F- oh, dude, we're right above Oakville, man. Yeah, or or you they're flying, dropping- they're flying, and they're right above Oakville, and he's like, I hate this place. No, he's like, yeah, he's like, your first time passing over Oakville. <laughs> yeah, you know, I my just- ex-wife's parents live here. Check it out. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the plane farting? Yeah. <laughs> You're opening up the plane's butthole? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> That's the sound the pilot's making. He's like, <laughs> yeah. he, he's a petty asshole. He's, he's like, act like a 12-year-old about it. My ex-wife's parents live here. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, duty, duty. Ew, oh, doo-doo, doo-doo, poo-poo, poo-poo. poo-poo. Ooh, the big plane got a poopy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyways i always hated them <laughs> yeah yeah um i think that's what else could it be what else could it possibly be chemtrails no maybe they were testing something new oh and then it collected and congealed like, yeah i guess what, what i'm confused by is what i need to know what the blob looked like are we talking just like a flubber mass falling out of the sky yeah you know that's a good point. It. We've got a video explainer. Okay, let's watch the video. Let's get a little bit more. We need more details on this case. That's yeah. what a good investigator does, so go ahead. ...with blood cells. This is the story of Oakville, Washington. Population 665. The torrent of goo spread across 20 square miles, and it wasn't innocuous. Instead, it brought a sort of plague to the town of Oakville, killing animals, pets, and making... 20 square miles that ain't that's not a blob dude <laughs> that's a fucking attack yeah seriously dang making people incredibly sick the blobs would rain from the sky over a period of three weeks falling on six confirmed separate times three weeks Reports from the town at the time stated that everyone in the whole town came down with something like the flu, lasting seven weeks to two or three months. There were even reports of animals dying in such quantities that in some areas you could see several at a time laying about. Any lobsters? Okay, this is what I'm this is this is my thought here. I like to think outside the box. Okay. All right. This is a town of six hundred people. Yeah. Are we really trusting them? Mm. Maybe they Are we could... really believing that this actually happened to 600 people? Maybe they've never seen rain before. <clears throat> exactly. Or like they all like they <laughs> yo, they went yo. to a town party and all did shrooms. No. No, dude. You know, and they're like, "Oh, it's raining fucking blood." And like, dude. They've never and the next just... day they were hung over. Okay, they said raining blobs from the sky, animals died, and they all got something like the flu. Yeah. So now I'm just picturing rain happening and they're all out there just like ass naked <laughs> multiple hours a day. Yeah. Their body temperature drops. It's like promoting the growth of like a, you know, basic virus. Yeah. And they're like, I feel really sick. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, yeah, because you've been standing out in the rain. Yeah, exactly. For three weeks. Yeah. Dummy. Yeah. Let's get a little more info though. But I, I like it. Residents. 
described the substance as a mushy-like jello. After the first instance, many began to speculate forms of military testing or other uncommon scenarios. So samples were sent <laughs> off to the Washington Department of Health. A micro military testing that'd be so fucked up. I mean, it like, is where should we where should we test this like toxic goo we got going on? <laughs> Oakville. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let's like pick up just I don't know. Toss a dart. Yeah, and we'll do it there. It's got to be a small town though. Hmm. Seattle. Nah. Toss it again. Oakville. Hmm. What's the population on Oakville? Uh, about six hundred. Oh yeah, no one will believe them. Oh yeah, my ex wife's parents live there. Actually, yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, do it yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why they did it to him because you what you just said. Are we believing these fucking kooks? <laughs> It's a cruel prank. Yeah, exactly. A biologist by the name of Mike McDowell reviewed the samples, Beast. and in an interview with National Geographic, he claimed his lab found two living organisms, Pseudomonas, <laughs> both semen. <laughs> I mean, it's trending that way. Yeah, that's true. It was a, did they say white? It was like a goo. A goo. Yeah. Essence and it could it could have been a tribute from the sky, <laughs> just just God laying tributes. To <laughs> my children, <laughs> honey, I blew up my tribute. <laughs> Herobacter cloacae. It's just Rick Moranis made himself gigantic and he nutted all over Oakville. <laughs> okay, that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, Rick Moranis got I think really we found big. it. And he had to bust a nut to get small again. Yeah, I think we cracked it. I think we cracked it. That's it. That's definitely it. Honey, I blew up my tribute. <laughs> I'd probably I'd probably go to the doctor if I were him though. Yeah. If his cum gave six hundred people the flu. Yeah. <laughs> That's I mean no matter yeah. how much cum there was, like something's wrong with it. It might have just yeah. been very cold. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Dang man, I'm just wow. <laughs> Wazzing on an entire town. Simultaneously, <laughs> dang. Okay, let's just play. Let's just play. Living organisms described as what did he say? I don't know. I Living forget. Living organisms, Pseudomonas fluorescence, and Enterobacter cloacae. Both of these organisms could lead to severe illness in mammals, but McDowell also claimed that the samples his lab had disappeared one day. And even after filing various reports, they were never found. So what made the Oakville blobs? Some believe it was pieces of jellyfish swept up and disintegrated in military testing miles away. Others believed the blobs to be waste from airplanes, but the FAA was quick to refute this claim. What? Okay, here's a conspiracy. What? What if the FAA is dumping poop in the sky? And they're just like, they've, you know, they've paid a little little nice check to Google. So if people search that, they're like, yeah, we're going to need you to, um, we need you to cover that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Google's like, the oh, auto, the, yeah, yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah, right. You know. But they're like, we've got nowhere else to put this. Yeah. And, yeah. And, you and know, also, it's funny. It is. You know, and Google's I'm, like, ah, it is kind of funny. Okay, we'll, we'll do it, but you have to let us go up and dump the poop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to let me go up there. Eric Schmidt or whatever. Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. He's like, I want to go up there and I want to lay lay one down myself. Yeah. I actually don't know if that's his name, but who gives a fuck? Eric Schmidt, right? The founder, one of the two founders, Eric Schmidt and... So, here's what here's what I think. FAA is powerful. Mm -hmm. All these people talking about blobs and stuff, they catch wind, they send a couple of their agents down there, they're like, we're going to just swipe them samples. Yeah. Because if people find out that we're dumping the poo-poo, we're in big poo-poo at that point, you know? Oh, no. You know what it is? It's not poop, though. We've determined that it's cum. Yeah. So what if it's like the cum reserves that they have in the planes? Oh, yeah. For like the jack-off bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Right? What right. are you guys laughing? Which one's the jack-off bathroom? The one on the left. Oh, okay. Isn't it? I thought the right one's for pooping and the left one's for jacking off. Uh, okay, we don't spend too much more time on this, but... I think we cracked it, dude. I think you got it. Rick Moranis, that's the theory. Yeah, it blew up. Honey, yes. I blew up my yep. tribute. <clears throat> All right, next. Give me a lowdown on this one. You know, when something's gone awry, you might say, 
There's evil afoot. Nice. <laughs> that was, you're good at that. Thanks. <laughs> In this case, there is truly evil afoot. There's a man breaking into homes in Lake Tahoe and fondling people's feet. Let's get more on this story. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is happening current day in the future, right? Yeah, currently in the future. Yeah. Foot fondler on the loose in Lake Tahoe, police say. Authorities are warning residents and guests in Lake Tahoe to secure their exterior doors as a foot fondling intruder has been targeting the area. Women staying at a resort in State Line, Nevada, woke up to an intruder in their room fondling their feet. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. That's a quick way to get shot in the fucking face. Especially in Nevada. Yeah. Damn. In the incidents which occurred on July 2nd and July 3rd, the women were staying in rooms on the ground floor. Police believe the suspect entered the rooms via the unsecured exterior screen door. And then what does fondle feet mean? Because I feel like there's... I want to get a visual here. <laughs> what kind of feet are we talking about? Are they smooth? Yeah. Nice yeah. toes? We got long toes. Yeah. I just need a visual before we dive in here. Safe search blur. Why don't you turn that off? Yeah. So we can really get into it here. Um, well, some people do. No, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's tickling. Yep. Like you, you wake up and your feet are being fondled and what is happening? Fondle. Oh, what's up? <clears throat> we'll take it. Thank you. Thank you for this delicious coffee from the future, <laughs> currently. <laughs> this, is a, this is a panic attack on ice right here. Yeah? That's that <sighs> post-prohibition coffee. Yes. All right, so your feet are being fondled. You wake up. Yeah, what is fondled? What is happening? Is he giving them a massage? Tickling them? <sighs> sucking on the toes? Can we get a definition of fondled? Because when I think fondling, you know, I think of just kind of messing about with, with um, a body part. Stroke or caress lovingly or erotically. Ah, uh, yuck. Well, if it was lovingly, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you going to wake up and some dude's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just whispering sweet nothings to your feet? Are you going to wake up and be like, oh, that's cute? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I forgot about this scene. Yeah. Oh, Tarantino, you scheming. You think it's him? Was he in July? Was he in Tahoe for July 4th? Sorry, I'm just like zoning out on the fact that he wrote in Salma Hayek putting her foot in his mouth. Yep. It could have been him. What a power. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just now thinking of that. We're going to need another take. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna need another tank. Yeah, now. yeah. Like, we this we did eight. I think we got it. We got another reel. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> um Yeah, if you just, okay, so you wake up. What I'm I'm, I'm him. <laughs> I'm okay. caressing the foot. Okay, okay. And I'm waking up? Yeah. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Ah! What are you doing? Wait, was that lovingly? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. I'm going to go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> carry, carry on. Carry please. on. Carry please. on. Please. Yeah, that's, <laughs> um, that's crazy. But like, what's crazy to me is that I feel like a case like this, normally you'd call the cops about this and they'd be like, okay, yeah, right. This is someone in the house. Yeah. Like, it's so absurd. Yeah. That it must have been, like, they must have, like, the fact that this is, there's, there's an article about it now. It must, it must have happened be, a lot. That's what I'm saying. It must be, like, multiple incidents of this. They must they must be having, like, calls from other people. Yeah. So this guy's, like, a serial offender of yeah. this. Which is, A, very fucking scary. Yeah. But, B, also kind of, like, absurd and ridiculous. If he's just fondling feet. That's why he's doing it. So if he gets ever gets arrested, <laughs> he could be like, "What? What? What? What, what am I guilty of? What did I really do? Yeah. Oh, I'm guilty of affection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, uh, sure. Like, yeah. Take me away. Lock me up, officer. Oh no, 
I wanted to care for someone's feet. <laughs> or walk around all day. Got sore feet. They're getting tired. They're getting tired. I'm trying to give them a massage. And sorry if that's against the law. <laughs> he just can't help himself. Yeah. Officer, please remove your boots. <laughs> <laughs> you look, you, hey man, you look tired. <laughs> Why don't you kick those boots off and get get him away from me? His voice is weirdly relaxed. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, stop get those it. boots off. Stop it. Get those boots off before I lick them. Come on, get those things off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you earned it. You had a long just day. Just a minute. Just a minute. You had a long day. Just, Come on. Just a minute. You had a long day. Let me get those. Yeah, get, get the socks off. Let me get those. Let me smell those feet. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is hitting. Oh, All right, I get the left one, <laughs> Sergeant. <laughs> well, no, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Serial foot fondler, man. How many feet? How many pairs of feet do you think he's he's ran through? I don't know. It's a good question. Is it in the article? Has it happened before? You know what was crazy is that it was July 2nd and 3rd. Well, he knows. You know, people are showing up for that July 4th weekend. Oh, those were two separate incidents. Or was it the same house? Separate incidents. Separate in this this is this man came back. Wait, was it the same house though? No, no, no. Same resort, I believe. Same resort. Same and resort. It was, uh, at like 4 a.m. That's so wild to just go like, I'm gonna go fucking play with someone's feet. That you you have crazy. your own. Yeah, seriously. And it's like, just like walk around the the pool in the morning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just get a, just get a glimpse. Like, yeah. You want to creep on some feet. You know. Like, just go out in public. <laughs> yeah, just put on some sunglasses. Become a shoe salesman. Be a, be a proper foot freak. Yeah. Just become a shoe salesman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or Or a movie director. <laughs> yeah, yeah, either one. <laughs> Both are viable options to get you in front of some feet. <laughs> but he wanted to feel them so bad. Yeah. That's that not he... really... Man, what if this is just an old, washed up... He's from the old days. He was a shoe salesman. He used to sell and... You know, ooh, that looks nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are a size seven. <laughs> I know I could tell. <laughs> I know feet very well. You know, he's one of those guys. Okay. But we don't have shoe stores like that anymore. Right. You don't, you don't have a online. classic shoe. And, and if you do go to buy some shoes in store, if if a shoe salesman got on his knee and said, let me put this on for you, fucking pepper spray. Yeah, yeah. Like, Get the fuck away from The me. whole store would jump him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. That's true, actually. It used to be like, let me slip this on. Yeah. Why don't you stand up here? I'll take the size of the, on that metal thing. Yeah. Remember? Yep. Adjust the thing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Six you've grown. Half. You've grown a size since I've last seen you. You've been running. You've been working out. <laughs> of course, you have. I can tell. Yeah, feet are looking svelte. <laughs> They're looking a little. And then swollen. fucking Zappos came along, ruined that. Yeah. So now you Destroyed got that whole thing. Now you got legions of these of these Cinderella men. Yeah, Cinderella men. <laughs> Cinderella men. That's good. You know they want to put that magic slipper on. Yeah. And then he just broke bad, you know? Yeah. He has got wasted one night, and he's like, I can't even do what I'm supposed to do. I was born on this earth to put the shoes on the feet. So you're saying these women are waking up with, like, high heels on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Yeah, shoe salesman. <laughs> he's he's reading these articles pissed off. He's like, what well, am funneling? I measured. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I measured. I went and found a fucking Salvatore Ferragamo shoe that fits perfectly on my foot. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. Nah, he's just a creep. Yeah, I think he's just a creepo, and I think, <laughs> I think uh, this is scary because, like, you know, I don't know. It's Dude, just scary because he like starts at feet, you know. Yeah, but imagine, and then you got to catch him before. Imagine a lady cop. You know, she goes undercover, hangs out for a few days. She gets some, um, you know, she gets a pedicure, and, and the the paint she chooses is something bright. 
Yeah. Like construction jacket yellow. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. And this, you know, and then she's just chilling at the pool and she's just kind of scanning. She's getting, you know, who who at the pool is like a moth to a flame. Okay. Who can't just look away. She's going to sleep every night. A gun in each hand. <laughs> Imagine this guy breaks and, in. And in one of her feet. Yeah. But that one's under the cover. Under the cover, yeah. And there's one that she's... Just leaving out. Yeah. It's just gently out. Yeah. She, in the sunlight. Motherfucker. Yeah. And he does it. Yeah. Now imagine that guy grabbing that foot, going to fondle. <laughs> <laughs> and then him like looking to the yeah. right and there's just a gun being held by some toes. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um... Oh, 22 what, caliber. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 22 caliber uh, pistol in what, her right foot yeah. to the side of his temple. <laughs> and then she has two a nine millimeter in each hand. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh sorry. I just uh I couldn't help but notice the That's his nail voice? polish. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, he's a creeper. Yeah, okay, fair. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I just love your feet. And she just shoots him. Oh, damn. <laughs> I didn't say where. <laughs> Maybe she shoots him in, yeah, in his feet. Yeah, yeah. Lovingly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this be- because I care. <laughs> I mean, that's the worst place you could shoot a person with a foot fetish, probably. Yeah. Man, now Luke is just going through people. Photos of people <laughs> just shooting Glocks with feet. <laughs> I bet you someone from Cirque du Soleil or Russia could do this, no problem. Someone from a, like a country that has like a very, very dedicated gymnastics team. Yeah, for sure. Or you know the foot archery girls. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, true. Damn, we so, should have one of those in studio. A foot archery girl, <laughs> foot archery woman, but <laughs> hand her like a an airsoft Glock and be like, "Could you?" Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> it's so cool, though. Yeah, zoom in on the uh, grip. <laughs> Look at the dude doing it, just sitting down. Oh, <laughs> does he not have arms? <laughs> He's doing a great job. <laughs> I just didn't know that he... Uh, at first, they didn't have arms. <laughs> Damn, I feel so bad. My stupid fucking... Because we're scrolling down the thing is all these girls standing on their hands doing it. And then I see the one guy in, in the sea of women that are doing a handstand arching over. And I see one dude and he's sitting down. So I'm like, oh, classic, the guy is sitting. And then <laughs> we punch in on it. He doesn't have any arms. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, no shit. He's not doing that. I think it would die. <laughs> I want to pass out. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh, the timing on that, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that fucking guy sitting down. Oh, does he not have arms? <laughs> What's his name? This is actually our next case. <laughs> Matt Stutzman. Matt Stutzman, the armless archer. The case of the armless archer. Yeah. We should bring him in studio. He set a record for what? Oh, we wouldn't know because uh, there's ads. Shoots a record long shot with his feet. <clears throat> he's a he's a Paralympian, man. Oh, that's awesome. It is. Oh, All respect. Shit, man. Damn, sorry. I'm the, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the timing on that, dude, was so <laughs> crazy. I think we solved the feet fondler. Yeah. I think we we solved it. Yeah. I don't, well, I don't think we solved it. <laughs> I, think, I think we solved it. I think we solved it. 
I think that guy is still like out there. <laughs> like I still think he exists. <laughs> I think we we helped though. Yeah. We definitely helped. <laughs> yeah, we definitely helped. I think the point is you should be holding guns with with your feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sleep with one toe cocked. <laughs> one toe cocked. <laughs> Okay, what's next? <clears throat> you want to explain this one? Sure. Um, there are many places that a lot of you haven't visited, specifically some of you boys. We're talking about the vagina UFO incident. <laughs> now you might say, whoa, we talking about some lady parts? And you would be wrong. I'm just talking about Vagina Brazil. Mm. I know that's n- not how that's pronounced. In 1996, residents of Vagina Brazil claimed to see one or more strange creatures and at least one UFO. Other associated claims include the capture of extraterrestrials by the Brazilian authorities, animal fatalities at a zoo, and a woman impregnated by an extraterrestrial. What? What? He got in that vagina. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Man, fucking an alien? <clears throat> Dude must have had Riz. Yeah, you think so? I mean, yeah. Or, or you know, he might have been like ugly hot, you know? Like, oh, yeah. like he rizzed her up and she was like, yeah, I mean, we could have little alien babies. We can see what's all what that's all about. Yeah. Well, but also, like, aliens can probably impregnate humans just by, like, looking at them. You don't even know how that would happen, you know? that's how Jesus happened. Yeah. An alien touched down the Virgin Mary. was like, excuse? Mm -hmm. Morning sickness. And he's like, goodbye. Later. (laughs) Dang. Yeah. He's a deadbeat dad. (laughs) This is one alien. Deadbeat alien. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how I'm picturing it. <laughs> yeah. Like he touched down and he's just like, he's just Adam Driver, but green. <laughs> She's like, you're like, you're, I don't know, you're goofy, but I like you. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> She's like, oh my God, so quirky. Stop it. <laughs> And then, you know, they kind of rizzed up. He kind of rizzed her up. Yeah. You know? Kind of like, just, just you know, he just fucking <laughs> into her heart. <laughs> yeah. I can never understand what you're saying. You're or so, it's just like a high pitch. You're so complex. <laughs> Anytime he speaks, it's just a high pitch frequency that's like, it, it debilitates your hearing. Ability. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <You're> like, <laughs> he, she's like... <laughs> And then he stops talking. She's like, yeah, no, totally. I agree. (laughs) So then he rizzes her up. They have a consensual moment. They're sitting there laying awake. And she's like, so your semen like won't, like it doesn't work like that, right? And he's like. And he says. He just smells the high pitch sound. And he's smoking a cigarette and he's just, he's cool. He doesn't care. Is that him? No, no, no. (laughs) <laughs> come on man I said Adam Sir Driver like fuck boy alien you know I didn't say Sir Ian McClellan as an alien that's not even that that's like Willem Dafoe yeah okay what <laughs> that's an alien with an ass on top and bottom <laughs> if an alien dropped out of the sky and asked you to fuck would you that's a- I mean <laughs> That's asking. That's that's man. from Barstool Sports. Oh yeah. Um. So then, yeah. So then. He, oh yeah, Lil Mayo. He gets her pregnant, and then, and then he's a deadbeat. Yeah. Man, I think I actually gotta skip town for a for a for a bit. Yeah, I got a I got a bail. I got some shit. I got. A yeah. And she's like, "Okay, call me," and he doesn't call. Yeah. And then she's like he's sending pictures and yeah. That'd be actually really crazy if some dude who's like, "Ha, I was abducted," and then the girl, like a girl, walks out in front of him, and she's like, "Yeah, I know who it is. 
And then she's just calling him by name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gloron, you motherfucker. And then <laughs> holds up a kid with like just weird, crazy <laughs> eyes and shit. You forget about your son, huh? Why don't you, you fucking come back to Earth and look at and talk to your son? How about that? He misses you, you deadbeat piece of shit. You missed his first step or like yeah. whatever it would be for an alien. Yeah, yeah. You missed his first float. He levitated all on his own the other day and you missed it. You weren't even there. You fucking asshole. <laughs> This kid's going to live till 4,802. <laughs> I'm not going to be around for that. Who's going to look out for him? He's just like with his boys on another planet. They're like, yo, <laughs> like, yo, chill out. Chill out. Turn, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Turn that off, dude. Turn that off. You have a kid? Holy fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> you some deadbeat celebrity? Yeah. Deadbeat celebrity alien? Yeah. Gloron, you have a new movie coming out. <laughs> Tell us more about it. Yeah, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you say about these claims? <laughs> Dang. So I think we cracked it. Yeah. I think we solved that one. I just want to know more because, you know, I think, <clears throat> you know, the biggest bullshit part of this story is. Yeah, I know what you're about to say. Vargina, Brazil. Yeah, there's just definitely no town named Vargina, Brazil. There's Regina. There's Regina. Canada, I know I've been there plenty of times. We've been to Regina. I've been to a ton of different Ginas. Let's look this up. But Vargina, that's too close. That definitely does not exist. It's a municipality, which means town. It's what? What did you say? It's a municipality, which means town. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. I think we've cracked it. <laughs> we've cracked it, yes. Can you look up the correct pronunciation of Vargina? It's just going to be something simple like... What was it? Varginha. Varginha. I mean, yeah, it's even closer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> that's actually a lot sexier, too. Yeah. Varginha. One more time? Damn. Varginha. And hit it one more time? That's... <laughs> Varginha. This is so... I didn't quite... Hit it one more time? Varginha. One more time? Varginha. All right. This is so stupid, but that's why the aliens <laughs> went there. <laughs> just four fuck boys in a disc like <laughs> yo <laughs> what they're looking at google maps yeah no they're just looking at like you know fucking google universe <laughs> okay. they're in the future yeah yeah they're like yo yo wait wait zoom in zoom in on that shit right there yo, yo. Then, <laughs> then they accidentally hit the jump drive yeah yeah as a bit no like, first they hit the google translate they're like there's no way there's no way Why no it's spanish yeah. dude it's probably not the same all right, well, do you hit the pronunciation thing? Vagina. Yo! We got to go there. No shot. You just called Portuguese Spanish. It's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It is, right? Yeah, they're Latin languages, right? Do they only speak Portuguese in Brazil? I would say no, but I would say it is the dominant. What do they speak in Vagina. There's probably different dialects of Portuguese that they speak. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Um, damn. Impregnated by alien. We definitely solved that one. Now is this that vagina? Luke is zooming in on vagina. Vagina. So vagina. Is this the proposed UFO that was landed there? Because they have one in the city. Yeah, wait, yeah. what is... This is the UFO water tower. Oh, the water tower. So they built a water tower after this happened and made it look like the UFO that they saw? No, I think it's just... Uh, it's a symbol. Yeah, it's a symbol of the incident. Hmm. Now, here's a fun I mean, it's one. kind of weird. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah, that's a fun one. Building it like a memorial... Or not a memorial, but like a... I don't know. Like but, a police officer died. Yeah, but some woman was impregnated by an alien, and they're like, "Well, let's build like a statue of it." Hey, That's, man, if if Jesus fucking killed someone, Jesus probably killed someone. Yeah, yeah, the other way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Someone just snapped at Jesus the wrong Jesus. way, and he just fuck he he slapped their back, and it killed them because he didn't realize how much power he had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Oh, he's like, hey." <laughs> Son of God, remember? I was like, yeah, no, no, do your yeah, thing, do your thing, do your thing. No, you're, you're all good. Yeah. Also, people got mad. It, ha it happens. It happens. It happens to the best of us. When you're that, I mean, fuck, man. 
Dap me up just softly. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well. I think we solved this one. Very <laughs> interesting stuff. <laughs> this is Cody as a detective. Dead. <laughs> Missing, yep. <laughs> solved. Not going to happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Turns out this guy is still missing. Huh. So just so you know. So we'll, we'll close that case. Oh, this guy's. That one's done. This guy has no eyes. <laughs> this guy. Wait a minute. This man is playing archery without his arms. Oh, <clears throat> playing. <laughs> We're almost at the end here, but we still have enough time for uh, two more fantastic cases. There was a story about a, a, some mermaid remains showing up in Australia. Uh, we know that's not true. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> this solved. Case closed on that one. Stole. Let's just read. Let's read. We have time for both of these. Um, I, I was trying to see the Bigfoot. He's got his Before dick we, in it. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, let's get, let's get to that. <laughs> Dude, imagine. That'd be so funny. The next Bigfoot footage that comes out. Uh, he's just like. Winging. Yeah, he's got a huge just hammer. Yeah. That's and people are like. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> That's when I'd believe if he's anatomically correct. You think so? I don't know. We we also don't actually know. They'd be cool if Bigfoot it just it was actually a lady the whole time. She got a big old muff in there. <laughs> you know. World's totally, man. world's largest vagina. <laughs> yeah. Vargina. Yeah. World's largest vagina. And they just they just catch her shaving it by a river. Vaginha. <laughs> she's got a the seven inch. She got a, about? She got a seven inch army blade. She's just cleaning it up for a man. And some asshole walks. Some TMZ asshole walks by the little fucking VHS camcorder, and she speaks perfect fluent American English. She's just cutting her bush, and she looks up. And she goes, <laughs> "The fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> that's you know that's a fucking federal crime. That's illegal. What you're doing right now." Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the river's covered in yeah, pubes. Yeah, yeah, Big old Bigfoot pubes. <laughs> that's, that's what the blobs were over yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over Oakville. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was just, people don't realize, yeah, his Bigfoot just <laughs> into a rain cloud at the top of a mountain. <laughs> Well, should we watch this footage now that we're talking about it? Yeah, sure. Fuck All right, it. There's new, apparently there's new Bigfoot footage described as the best evidence yet. Biggest bush I've ever seen <laughs> is the quote. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, get the fuck out of here. What get the fuck out of here. This looks like one of those YouTube videos, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? You know those. You know those like kids and I fucking did a video on it like a couple years ago. But it's like they'll fly their drone and one of their friends will dress up like a clown and oh, run yeah, on the beach. Yeah. And yeah. Like, wait, wait. Was that, what, what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. This is that. Yeah. This is J Station. Yeah. What the world? What in the world? Is that what he said? What in the world? Yeah. Get. Well, why wouldn't you fly it? down you got fo what bigfoot just got a pair of beats headphones on walking underneath that yeah just vibing yeah just going for a power walk this new mac demarco is awesome <laughs> this new what mac demarco <laughs> what yeah come on man you know i believe in this <clears throat> what is that what is that what the heck is that even is that freaking bigfoot Oh my god, look at the muff on that thing. <laughs> is that freaking Bigfoot in the in, <laughs> in the, the forest? In the forest? Walking through the forest? Have we been repulsive this episode? Um, no, it's been What do you mean? I don't know, man. <laughs> are you good? I'm sad now. <laughs> Why are you sad? <laughs> yeah, this is the point. I'm sad. This is the wall. I'm going to sip this coffee and get right back to it, you know. Um yeah, I'm about to I'm about to start the panic attack, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's we about should, to be like right here is when it hits. Well, we should close out regulation with um 
the, the stolen urinal grates. Someone in Japan has stolen 16 urinal, urinal grates. Uh, ladies, if you don't know what that is, um, when men go to piss um, at the urinal. You, basically, there are grates and you're supposed to shove your dick. You're supposed to like squeeze it in between, in between. two of the like great things. Yeah. So it basically holds your dick in place so you don't have to actually hold it with your hand. So yeah. that, that way you can use your phone. And it's kind of like a glory hole. <clears throat> like it like also shields your penis. So you can just have casual conversation with the boys next to you. Yeah. So you just kind of work into the grate. Yeah. And you can hands on hips. Yep. But right. you really have to shimmy it in there. Yeah. It takes a second. Yeah, it does. But once it's in, it's awesome. And it's awkward sometimes because someone might start a conversation with you. They're like, hey, oh, sorry. And you're like, yep, yeah, just, just shimmy it in. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. yeah. yeah. Like, Love your eyes yeah. for a sec. Yeah. No, the worst is when it gets stuck. Yeah. Like when the, <clears throat> when like the, you know, the little hinges are kind of like rusty or whatever, so it doesn't open all the way. Yeah. And, and then so you're trying to slide it back out and it doesn't work. And then you're, and you're trying to pull out and then your foreskin gets, you know, just like you lengthened like Laffy Taffy. And yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. like four feet back from the urinal. But that's if you force it. I usually call the bathroom attendant to help me. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. They'll done. usually get in there with some sort of tool and kind of, or like they'll come in with some butter from the kitchen. Yeah. And butter up the grates and, yeah. and my penis and, Try to slide it back out. Butter my penis. <laughs> well, butter my penis and call me call me Steven. <laughs> no, um, it's these little. Oh, metal, see, I was picturing like the little plastic. Yeah, yeah. It's a little grate that sits on top of the urinal drain. I think it's to prevent uh, the spray your candy from falling out of your pocket and going into the toilet. <laughs> I don't know. What, what is this even to yeah. stop? No, the spray, I think. The spray? Well, I mean, like the orbs are, I'm pretty sure. Like, they're shaped that way, so if you pee on them, this, the piss sprays, like, either straight down or, like, straight up, so it doesn't spray back on your pants. Is that it? Feet. That's, like, what the, all the modern grates, and, like, the, you know, you're supposed to, like, aim at that little bee? Yeah. That's because, like, that's the optimal, like, splash. You know, zone. man, I haven't used the urinal in a long time. <laughs> I haven't. Why? I have a I have a paranoia to the fullest. Of what? I don't know. Just someone being weird. Just taking a peek. Looking at your penis? Yeah. You know you know what really motivated this? Pushing you into the urinal urinal. No, no, no. When that I, was always the worst. Pulling oh. you away would be pretty good too. That's a good prank. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 yeah. I'm not <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, 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 I can't stop. And your knees lock up. And <laughs> yeah, 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 you you like, just fall back. No, dude, you, you don't even walk. <laughs> he pulls you, you just fall like fucking two by four, just flat on your back. It just, oh, he just yanks you yeah, with a big yank yeah, and gets out of the way? Yeah. And you're just pissing at the ceiling. No! Oh, into your own mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Elaine and I were in Texas. Pushing you to the side would be pretty good. Yeah, that's into the into the guy next to you. Yeah. Oh, oh! What are you doing, man? Sorry, my friend pushed me. Yeah, <laughs> you piss all over my shoes. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, Lena and I were in Texas some years ago, and um, this dude says to me, "He's like, so Noel, I gotta ask, what the what's the meat really like?" <laughs> and he's with his girlfriend. Ew. Yeah. Maybe we could take a piss beside beside each other later. Honestly, like ever since then, I've just had this fear that that guy is gonna run up behind me at a urinal and just fucking like. Oh yeah. Got it. Yeah, over the shoulder. Yeah. That would be that would be a harrowing experience. Yeah. Like so now I and then all of a sudden you hear like and you're like what the fuck? Yeah. That's my got it. That's my fear. So so now I pee like like an NFL player, like getting like a three point stance. So my dick is fully in the bowl. Um, I just let it hang. And then I hold a gun to the, uh, <laughs> with both to feet. the stall door. <laughs> I'm sitting peeing yeah. and I hold. No, no. Over the this. back of my head, over the back of my head. I'm peeing like this, holding a gun with both feet. So if anyone even looks in the crack, it's like, I yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this how, this how I'd be pissing, man. <laughs> so you pee sitting down? Yeah, I do that a lot too now. Yeah, when I'm at home, 
especially i'm like i'm uh, not gonna stand to pee in my own home a sit pee is yeah it's my own toilet yeah i can take my own time yep it's not like i'm at a stadium where i'm like waiting in line or whatever because then i'll pee in the urinal because it's yeah. like you want it to be fast you want to get out of there yeah you want it to be easy but in my own home i want to sit down i want to pee and then i want to cruise tiktok for five minutes yeah and just sit you know butt balls dick exposed yep but bbd <laughs> bbd yeah oh th- yo these ones in europe these public ones the public urinals oh that's crazy. awesome those are disgusting no that's awesome yeah, yeah you- wait why is that disgusting well, because you know, you got like when you run up to take a to take a drink from the tank, you got to like wipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, who is stealing the grates? That's the case. Yeah. And who do we think it is? It's obviously someone with like a piss fetish. I think it's that, or I almost think it's like a petty crime. Yeah, like he's sell- like is he like reselling them? No, it's just a weird guy on Reddit that's just like I just take them. Oh, yeah, like someone who steals like emblems. From yeah, it's like art. who's gonna do what? Yeah. I take them and I just throw them. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's funny to just take one. Yeah, yeah. It is fucking funny. Yeah. Because it's such an asinine thing. It's one of those things where the janitor walks up and goes, again, now I got to fucking order it. Yeah. You know, or what if it's- um, These things come all the way from Japan. <laughs> so around the corner. <laughs> around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, These things. Now, here's the thing. It, does the article detail if it's the plastic or the metal kind? Because stealing the plastic kind, that's disgusting. That fucking piss pancake. <clears throat> yeah. I used to follow this dude that would eat them. Yeah, like I followed him on social media because he was like crazy and he would just do like wild shit all the time. And that was one of the things he did like often was go into a urine, like a public like restaurant bathroom and grab the urinal cake and put it in his mouth. <laughs> Insane, right? How'd you find my burner? <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> do you remember the guy's name? Yeah, I do. Credit where credit is due, man. Is he an artist? Well, I don't want to like call him out. Okay. I mean, it could be performance art. I kind of was. I mean, he's like, he's like a porn star now. So, oh, hmm. You still follow him? No, I don't. <laughs> Once you switched to porn, I was like, all right, man, you're kind of <laughs> selling. <out." laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't do the urinal thing anymore, so yeah, but I'm not into it. Yeah, I, I yeah, he like, yeah, he became like a top one percent on OnlyFans, and I'm like, okay, like this dude, like complete sellout you know he yeah, just exactly. he used to do crazy shit for the love just now it's the like love of it yeah subscribe so i eat the urinal cake it's like come on dude <clears throat> exactly this like used to be who you were yeah, yeah. you're like monetizing it and you're just like completely giving into capitalism like it's exactly. weird and lame yeah you've changed man honestly you changed man. we want to see the urinal shit again now you're now you're doing like come fucking on. you're you're doing brand deals for oh damn it what's that what's the urinal brand it's <laughs> your like, own dick yeah <laughs> On OnlyFans, it's like that that famous toilet brand. Oh, fuck. Um, it starts with a U. Um, you're pooping. Yeah, I don't know. Just like, hi, I'm Dave, former urinal cake eater. Yeah, but boy, do I have something exciting for you. Anyway, you got a little string on your forehead. That's okay. Been there for a minute. Yeah, sorry. We'll leave it. <clears throat> Actually, no. Uh, Alex roto that out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh skin match my forehead thank you damn well of all the cases we've covered today i believe the one that is most unsolved and still ongoing is the urinal grates mm-hmm. because there's no mechanism to secure them so who knows this man has started at 16 but it could go all the way up to 100 16 urinal gates and we assume it's a man what if it's a lady thinking it's funny Ooh. Little, it's like a secret mission. Thing. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. So the perpetrator remain the perp remains on uh, on uh, mm, mm. <laughs> on uh, the loose. Well, it's not yeah. been going on for like a month and a half. A month and a half. Yeah, a very long period of time. I think it's a fetish person. I think it's someone getting these things, going back into his car, and <laughs> sniffing them and licking them. Yeah. Sucking all the juice off for sure. For sure. 
Solved. Solved. Case closed. Solved. That's an open and shut case right there, folks. Well, everybody. Uh, there you go. Right there. <clears throat> I'm going to march on into a little bonus segment at TMGstudios.tv. We're going to talk about this guy attacking a town in a gimp suit. Now, and there's video evidence, and it's very, very good. So you're going to want to see this. Thank you for joining us for another uh, enthralling episode of the of TMG Dint. Investigation Team. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Coming up in the special extended version. The Somerset Gimp man is accused of terrorizing villagers in the UK. I'm resisting arrest. I'm <laughs> I resisting. might run away. <laughs> Beat the shit out of me. Zip tie my ankles. Club me. Okay, I'm going to kick Josh. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get kicked in my balls anymore. <laughs> See it all only on TMGstudios.tv. Sign up today.